Hey, what up? This is Mr. Trigger coming to you from Skid Row Tattoo in downtown Los Angeles. I'm going to be bringing you on tattoo stories from some of the sickest artists in the game. Brought to you from Sanction TV and Maker Studio. Each week, we're going to show you these artists' best ink on celebrity clientele, all the way to homies in the hood. I was working part-time like I'd go out to 29 Palms on paydays and work at Carl's shop for a couple days, you know, and that's twice a month, so that, that was pretty much all I was doing at first, and then I had the heart attack, and that sucked, and then I had the surgery, which almost killed me. I'm still messed up. I, uh, like, if I walk uphill, I can't breathe. I get out of breath really fast, or if I climb stairs, is it? It left scar tissue on my lungs really bad. I'm like, I probably only got like 50, 60 percent use of my lungs. And then I started working here, and I started working over there at uh, Vintage. And then I went. I've been in three or four different shops out in Orange County. My, my daughter tattoos out there, so some of the times I just go set in wherever she's at. What, what uh, tattoos you like doing the best? Ah, uh, traditional American or traditional Japanese, one or the other. You know, the big, big track. For, I'm doing something real big. I like the big Japanese stuff. For, I like doing big eagles. And I do like dueling and sun back piece on a guy just recently. You know, the Lyle Tuttle back piece. I did my own version of it and did it on one of the guys. Tell me about the, uh, the seventh letter connection. Oh, uh, yeah. The, with that? that sort of happened sort of strangely, I guess. Uh, I was work after I quit working at Burt Grimm's and retired. Then I decided that sitting around not doing nothing sucked, so I started working one day a week here at Shamrock. And then uh, Bob has seen that I was working here, and I've known him forever. And he tells me, he says, "Ah, oh, you got to come over and work with me and Dave." Because Tennessee Dave worked at Bob's shop at the time. And I told him, "Yeah, okay, I can come over there one day a week." So I went over there on Fridays. Oh, you gotta start tagging a little more now. He says, I, I tag every once in a while. And I thought, yeah, okay, so cool. So we went to a bunch of conventions all over the country and we're all blasting our names everywhere, right? And he's telling me, oh, you gotta start writing MSK. He says, that's my crew, I can put you in it. And so he put me in MSK, right? And then Casey found about it. And Casey's MSK and AWR. And He's from my hometown. You know, he, he lives in Hermosa now, but his warehouse was in Hawthorne, which is actually where I grew up. And so I went by the warehouse a few times just to hang out and see about getting some jewelry and whatever, T-shirts, this, that, and whatever. And uh, so he put me in AWR. So we went back up to Frisco and so I had Grimy, who owned the tattoo shop at that time, called AWR. It was Artwork Rebels. And so I told Grimy, I said, yeah, you got to put AWR on me, man. So he put this on my hand, the AWR. Norm at that time was apprenticing for Grimy. And I told Norm, I says, well, after you get a little better, I'll have you put an MSK on my leg. I'm here one day, and I'm still out in in uh, at Vintage on Fridays, and then I work out in Orange County on Saturday at uh, Donovan's shop. I don't know. You got your colors in this one, huh? Yeah, I have Fusion ink. I have actually my own set of ink with Fusion. It's a traditional set, seven colors. It's got my name on it. The stickers took off, and then uh, a few years back, I did an art show down at the Westminster Mall. I, like, I don't know, I had like 11 new paintings. And so for the art show, they made posters of it, and that's that one up there. And they made posters of uh, one similar to that that says, it's a picture of me now, and it says, Rick Walter still hates you. And then they did a poster for the art show. So that all these posters are everywhere, all over the place. But that's how that whole thing got started. It was a picture that was taken back in 1974. 